Alright guys, what's up? This is uh, MN Genius here again. Just bringing you another little commentary thing, I guess. Uh, tonight, or last night actually, me and my roommate busted out the GameCube. As you can tell, playing a little 007 Night Fire action. Uh, it took us a while to get used to the controls, because when you start out, there's no... It's not like Modern Warfare 3, where you use both analog sticks. You only used the one, so we had to play around with the controls a little bit to figure that out. I don't know if you can run in this game, but we, if you can, we never figured out how to do it. Uh, it looks like we're playing here was King of the Hill. I'm on top, he's on bottom. We're just playing with you know, me versus him, and we each have one, uh, one teammate on our team. It's just like an AI bot for the computer. But this game is actually really, really hard to aim on. I don't know if you can tell, but like, there's no aim down sights. When you press left trigger, you kind of get that little thing where you just kind of control where it goes. You can't aim down the sights at all, which made it really hard, actually. We changed the weapon, weapon set to snipers. So you're going to see a lot of, you know, I have a sniper rifle, he has a sniper rifle. I'm playing as Bond in a spacesuit. He's odd jobs. So he's got the hat. You can see the hat out right there. And that thing will kill me. I don't know how many times before I actually finally get him. Right there. Just the hat. Yeah. But, um, this just, I don't know, it seemed like a fun game to play. We were just kind of talking about, you know, what games used to be really great. And we both really liked, uh, Goldeneye for N64. You guys know Goldeneye. Goldeneye was an awesome game. And it's just. They made a GoldenEye Reloaded for Xbox 360, and I was going to buy it last night, but I couldn't bring myself to do it. I don't know why. Probably will eventually, but... Uh, so what kind of... I guess that's what I'm kind of going for, is what kind of games did you guys play when you were kids, you know? What... What brings you back to the days? I had a headshot with the Delta Repeater right there. On Snowbird. Um, I can remember going to... We'd go to hockey tournaments when I was a kid with, you know, we'd take a couple of my friends with me. It'd be long trips. Take the little, and you know, get like a 7-inch TV or something in the car with us. 13-inch TV, whatever it was, little thing. We'd put, hook that up in the car, and we'd hook it up with, uh, with the GameCube. We'd sit there and play Nightfire. Half the fun was we'd just go on opposite roofs, and you'd pull out the... I don't even want the big guided rocket missile thing. I don't remember what it's called in this game. We just do that and then just, you know, you just launch guided missiles at each other and so you could hit each other fastest. It's just, it's crazy how far, I mean, look at how far these games have come. Like, I, I don't know how good a quality this is going to be in, obviously, because I recorded it from a GameCube. So, which obviously doesn't have high quality graphics. This video was not going to be 720p, I guarantee you that. But. It's weird to think that, you know, this used to be some of the best video gaming stuff out there. Like, look at how hard it is to kill people. I can't walk and shoot at the same time because the controls are so touchy and they're so weird. But, you know, this is where it started. I mean, Nintendo made this system. There was no... None of the consoles yet had high-definition graphics played like this and you're like, oh, they, this is so cool, it looks so realistic. That was another thing that was weird. With the sniper rifle, it doesn't like pull up like where you're look, where the sniper's pointed at. It like pulls up directly in the middle of your screen. So that was a little difficult to get used to going, you know, from a game like Modern Warfare 3 and then you're like, hey, let's go play Nightfire on GameCube. You could not quickscope in this game, I'll tell you that much right now. It'd be near impossible. But, yeah, I mean, that's one of those things I've really realized about college, is it, you revert back to your childhood, and you might think, you know, I never thought I'd play my GameCube again, like, who thinks about something like that, like, I, before I brought it out here, I had to talk to my sister, and I'm like, you know, where are all these games for the GameCube, you know, I want to take the GameCube back to college with me, and she's like, well, you lent them, you told one of my friends she could have them, and I'm like, well, you need to go get those back, because I'm taking my game system back with me. We got this out. Uh, we got the N64 here. We have two N64s actually. Two N64s. 
in our apartment two 360s, two PS3s, GameCube. It's just, it's crazy the kind of stuff that you pick up playing these games again. It really brings you back to a time when things were just simpler. So, you know, what other games did you guys play when you were kids? I played this a lot. Uh, Mario Party is always a favorite. I don't know why, I just, I love Mario Party. Which is also, you know, GameCube and N64. Uh, what else was a good game? I played Cell Damage a lot on GameCube. If you guys have never played Cell Damage, it's like... Mario Kart except hardcore and you can blow people's heads off and stuff. Like, the car has chainsaws and it's it's really fun. It's not so much a racing game, it's more of a blow stuff up with your car game. Which I think is a lot of fun. I'm not too sure. Yeah, there's not too much time left in this video. Uh, me and my, my teammate actually do end up beating my roommate, which is good because... I don't like losing him. He gives me shit. So yeah, uh, I hope this turns out good. I hope you guys are enjoying what I'm doing. Um, let me know if you like. Like, subscribe. Thanks.